Hey everybody, Master Adam Grogan here with the USBA WBA. And in this video, I want to talk to you about pre-taping your boards for your power divisions. So this is relatively new now in 2017. We started this rule in 2016. The whole premise was we want to make your day go by fast and efficiently. We don't want you sitting by waiting all day long to break and things to drag out. We don't want to rush you, but we want things to just move smoothly and efficiently. So what we started doing in 2016 is having competitors in the power board divisions pre-tape their boards for the spaced board divisions so that when the time comes to compete, we call all the competitors up, they bring out their pre-stacked stack of boards, and they just set it on the stands. The official removes the tape and we break. We don't have to wait and time you to set everything up and it takes a lot less time. We've had a lot of success with this over the past year and I just want to show you what to do to make it as efficient as possible and prepare you so that now, moving forward at all future events, when you arrive in the morning, first thing, you pick up your board, you check in, whether you're competing early or not, the first thing you should be doing once you're checked in is pre-stacking all of your boards. Now, to pre-stack your boards, you obviously need your boards. Now because this is for a power division, they must be USBA boards. You can't bring your own boards for a power division. Now, a very important thing you should be doing is when you receive your USBA WBA boards in the box, you should be checking the boards for a black line on them, or sometimes it's red, but there should be a marking on it so that we know we checked this board and it came from us. Because when you're ready to compete and you're standing up there in front of that stack, if there's no mark on this board, you can't prove it's a USBA board. So then we have problems and it interrupts your break. So check these things out early so we can fix them early as opposed to right before you're about to strike during your break. So look for those marks on the boards. If there's no mark, go see the person that gave you the boards from the USBA WBA or any of the officials and they will help rectify that situation right away, but all USBA WBA boards should be marked. Now, what you're also going to need is some spacers. Now, the USBA uses carpenter pencils as their standard spacer. Now, we will supply spacers at all the tournaments. There will be a big bucket of them and we'll bring as many as possible. But sometimes it's hard to anticipate how many spacers will really be needed. So we are allowing you, the competitor, to bring your own spacer. I don't care if it's orange, yellow, black, if it's green, as long as it is a carpenter pencil, standard size carpenter pencil that can be found at any hardware store online. These are all the same dimensions, they're all the same materials, the color doesn't matter. You can bring your own carpenter pencils so you don't have to wait for ours, you don't have to get held up. So you're allowed to do that. If you forget or you don't have enough, we'll have some. But I like to be self-sufficient. I don't want to worry about waiting for anybody else. So bring your own bag of carpenter pencils, bring them back home with you, you'll be good to go. The other thing you're going to need is the masking tape. This is how we're going to hold our boards together so the time we stack until the time we break they don't fall apart. The USBA WBA will supply masking tape. We'll have 10, 20 rolls floating around. But if there's a lot of competitors, you might be waiting for masking tape. So you know what? Stuff is cheap. Bring your own roll if you want to. That way you can get there, pick up your boards, stack them, tape them. You're not waiting on anything. You're ready to go. You could focus on getting ready up here for your break, which is what you should be doing, not worrying about when the masking tape is going to be available. So feel free. Bring your own carpenter pencils, standard carpenter pencils, your own masking tape. So now when you stack your boards, I don't care where you do it. We don't have a rule about that. You can find a table, you can find a chair. But if you want to do it right, in my humble opinion, I like to set it right on the blocks. So, I'm going to get my boards, I'm going to stack them, and then I'm going to talk to you about taping in a second, but let me get stacking first. Okay, so now my boards are stacked. Now I need to secure them with tape. So I'm going to take my masking tape, and what we want you to do is put one wrap of tape around the center of the boards. I'm going to show you why in a second. So put your tape on top. Get on there good. I push down on the top so they don't shift or move. You have a friend hold it down. I'm going to go around the bottom. I'm going to pull it through. Pull it up hard. And you want at least two or three good wraps to make sure that holds in place. And boom. Now it's taped, it's secure, I can go put it off to the side someplace safe, and when it comes time for me to break, I set up my stands, I set my boards on my stands, and I leave it. 
I don't remove the tape as the competitor. What will happen is, when the official comes around and says it's your turn, they will come and they will remove this tape. That's why it's important for there to be one strip in the center. If I was setting up my stack on this one block here, I wouldn't be able to put that strip of tape in the center. It'd be confusing, it'd be hard, because the block's in the way. I'd have to do two on the side, which some people do do that. They do take the tape and go around the side and the side. But when they do that, and we go and we put it on these blocks here, now the tape is going under where it sits on the blocks. So now we have to remove the tape on two sides, and it's not as clean as just removing it here in the center and coming around. So really try to get two stands, or two of something, so you can wrap the tape in the center. Another good thing to do is throw a Sharpie marker in your bag. Put your name on this stack. That way when you put it over in the corner where it's safe, if somebody comes around, there's no doubt that is your stack and you don't have to worry about anybody getting confused because you put your name on it and keep them all together. So keep a Sharpie marker in your bag, name on there. Heck, if you get nervous and you don't want to remember, put power wood hand, power wood elbow, right on the stack so you don't have to worry about it. And then put it off to someplace safe. And that there, my friends, is how you're going to be stacking your boards for the power wood divisions. Power spaced board hand, power spaced board elbow, power spaced board foot, and now we have also double power wood hand spaced and double power wood elbow spaced. All those divisions, pre-tape as soon as you get to the tournament. Don't wait to be asked, just get them ready. You do not have to do this for concrete divisions. You don't have to do it for non-spaced wood divisions. Only the spaced divisions. I look forward to seeing you at the next event. Good luck, and as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment on this video or send us an email. We're looking forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.